So today I'm going to tell you a very personal story. And the story starts when I was in high school. Uh, in high school, that's what I looked like. Uh, you can see uh, I was not too happy to go through my teenage years. Uh, in high school, I had a few enemies. And, but my worst enemy was this guy here. <laughs> and his name, his name was Emmanuel as well, so if you can believe it. And so we were worst enemies for two reasons. The first one, we were fighting over women all the time. And the second reason is we were fighting about what we would do with our lives. And so he chose to use his intuition to be an architect for visual arts. And I chose to use mine to explore complexity in science. So with all this negative energy between us, we turned to a famous philosopher, Hegel. And Hegel said, uh, everything arises out of dialectic. In other words, everything arises out of a conflict. And that's the name of our first collaboration with Emmanuel. So uh, our structure, called conflict, was exhibited uh, in Venice, Italy, for the Biennale of Architecture. Uh, so for those who don't know, the Biennale of Architecture is not this big showcase where every major architect firm goes there to, to show off. And so if I ask each one of you, you know, what do you think this is? Um, every one of you will have a different opinion about it. Uh, so what it turns out to be the original inspiration is actually the stock market. The conflict structure illustrates the conflict between two stocks on the stock market. So you can see it's a three-dimensional uh, visualization of something that you cannot see otherwise. So the way we design it is, is very particular. So I wrote an algorithm that designed the structure. So nobody designed it, the algorithm did. And this is the algorithm. Uh, I was told I don't have much time, so I won't go through the details. But <laughs> the main idea is that for each branch, uh, we pull data out of the stock market, and uh, it creates you know, the orientation of the next branch in the structure. So you can see that uh, complex phenomena are a great deal of you know, imagination to us. And so that's why I continued with an inspiration for my current uh, PhD research. Uh, which is in biology. So here you can see what the cell look like, looks like. So you have two, uh, two uh, major proteins in the cell that form the skeleton. Uh, you have the green ones and the red ones on the screen. And they form the skeleton of the cell. And I was very really fascinated by the fact that every cell has a skeleton and I wanted to give sort of, a, again, a 3D representation of it. And that's what it looks like. So if, again, if you look at it, you would have no idea that it was a cell, the inspiration was a cell, but that's what it is. And so I welded the steel together to uh, two, two different kinds of steel to illustrate the fact that a cell resists compression force and tension force. Um, my last example uh, of a complex phenomenon is free dynamics. And it's a sculpture that we call kinetic, and I did that with Elker and Tom uh, last year as well. Uh, so what we did is that we, we, we had those panels, those white panels like that. And those panels were mounted on the steel structure uh, that you could actually modify, you, you could modify the orientation. And uh, the trick we did is that we coated the, the panels with a super hydrophobic coating. And uh, uh, so you see that it creates, the, the water behaves as spheres on these panels. And here you have a close up of it. And so we wanted the audience to interact with a, with a structure, and so th that's how it goes. So basically you pour the water onto the top, and the water will fall from one level to another, we divide, reunite, but always as spheres. And at the end, when you're done pouring the water, you will see these many different panels with different spheres on it, and it's always unpredictable. So I think by now you all want to know uh, the true question of this talk. So who was right between the man and I? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, things got much better between us. Uh, he got married, and uh, we did many structures together, actually. This, I, I just showed you one, but we did many collaborations. And, but the bottom line for me is that in science, we explore uh, complex phenomena, and most of the time, we explore only part of it. Uh, and, and you know, every scientist in this room knows that it's a very difficult and long process. And for me, uh, Art is the perfect vehicle to develop an intuition about this complex phenomenon. And this constant dialogue that I try to establish between uh, art and science, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make the bet that intuition for visual art and intuition for science are actually two faces of the same thing. Thank you very much.